Whenever I go around the NHS, I see lots of great uh, things, lots of great innovations, uh, but often I see them in too local an area. And what we need to do is to be able to spread and uh, use them at scale. Uh, so the HSNs have a key function uh, in facilitating that spread, but also in developing the innovations in the first place. The role of AHSNs in the AAC is absolutely crucial, um, and it's crucial on two parts. If you think about the broadest uh, aims of the AAC, they are to one, increase the development of innovation that meets the NHS's needs, and two, to increase adoption and spread of those innovations. And I think the AHSNs are uniquely placed and have got deep capacity in both of those areas. So on the first, building innovations that meet the NHS's needs. The AHSNs have got innovation exchanges that help to define local needs, connect innovators with um, local adopting sites and undertake real world evaluations. Um, and we know just in the last year, AHSNs uh, worked with over 2,000 innovators on just these things. We convene different groups together, different participants in the health and care economy. We develop projects that are tailored to local or regional need, and then we deliver programs which are suitable to be scaled nationally. So we understand how to make the transition from small scale up to large scale and national for the benefit of patients. The HSNs and the NHS Innovation Accelerator Programme have been instrumental in helping us build relationships with stakeholders, especially within the integrated care space across the country, but also helping us to build and establish relationships with key influencers and decision makers. And you need people who understand local context, who've got deep local relationships, they know who um, to speak to, to take up innovation, they know how to overcome local barriers. So they're a kind of core part of the delivery on increasing adoption of innovation, making sure that new innovations get to patients. And I think already in the last year they've shown huge success on that front, with almost 400,000 people getting access to new innovations through the AHSNs has to be tomorrow's technology. So it is important that we that we do this new stuff and we do it properly.